Welcome, friends, and thank you for tuning into the Optimal Health Program today. This is a wonderful new opportunity, a podcast that's going to go out to millions of people. And I promise we're going to have some wonderful interviews. We'll talk about a variety of really important medical and nutritional topics and speak to people who are excellent and preeminent in their field, people who have not only helped themselves but helped other people along the way to be healthy. And today our guest is Shannon LaRue. She's a world champion, a fitness expert, a professional athlete, and she's got a lot of interesting stuff to talk about. So let's welcome Shannon to the show. Hi there. How are you? Hey, Dr. Chris. Thanks so much for having me. My pleasure. It's great to talk to you again. So we want to motivate people. and This is something that I do all the time and try to get them to understand that there are ways to be successful with your diet, with your exercise, and with a variety of different goals in your life. And as I've mentioned many times before, I like to talk to people who do that and who could describe how that happens and uh, get people motivated. And I know you've done that for a long time. So what made you decide to become an athlete, a professional athlete? I'm sure you started and worked very hard when you were in high school. I, I really did, but the the juxtaposition for me or the, the big dive in was through the military. And it, it wasn't for its athletics, but more its mindset training, Dr. Chris. It was really okay. about learning discipline, you know, grit. I mean, grit that served me for 30 years in my career. Wow. So I really rely heavily on my fails. Those are the, you know, those are the things that I win most from, that I learn the most from. Uh, when I left the military, I, um, I was aligned serendipitously, of course, because what else do you do when you're a Javelin missile system operator? Uh, but <laughs> wow. Move on. Right. Right. move on to a um, cosmetic company. So okay. a botanically based cosmetic company, right? From the army to lipstick. And so I yeah, I learned definitely mindset, oh, mindset in, in those moments. Um, uh, and the business skill that I took from my training in the military was so important for my fitness career. So well, that, they say where your, you know, your mind go, your body has to follow. So if your mind is focused and disciplined and you have that perseverance, then everything else falls into place. That's exactly was it, what it was for me. And I, I wish I had the diagram of my, you know, the journey of my personal success. It definitely looks uh, like some steel wool on an arrow. Uh, it, it wasn't a straight line ever. Um, and there were so many opportunities uh, that met that that joined with each other. So, uh, you know, meeting great groups of people that le then led into uh, some wonderful, wonderful times. Right. So you've always been competitive. I imagine you have to be to be able to achieve, you know, great results or great success. Yeah. I, you know, I think, Dr. Chris, it really was um, being competitive with myself uh, um, more so than anything. I found that the, my best athletic performance was in the world of figure, which is two or three steps down from bodybuilding. Um, I worked as a drug-free athlete in four different organizations and stood on professional stages, shot, you know, uh, dozens of covers and have been published hundreds of times in different wellness magazines. So uh, all of that, I feel like was such a, a, a massive blessing. Uh, and I certainly, in these last years, um, uh, they've been very different. And what I've discovered is that I'm relying on the dividends of 30 years of hard work. So it really does pay off um, the work that I've uh, put in and invested into my health um, in times when consistency has been less probable in my life. I've still maintained uh, and been able to stay healthy. Yeah, we spoke about that the other day when we were chatting the other night. It was interesting to think of that concept because if you're creating health and fitness and strength and mental strength and stability, that carries you through the rest of your life. Other people that don't do that, a lot of times they end up with high blood pressure or obesity or diabetes and things that you wouldn't want to have to walk through in life, but because you created this strength and this uh, stability and this health, that carries you all the way through. And very, very important for people to understand uh, the majority of people don't think that way, and they just sort of are reactionary to the medical problem that comes along. So they're not eating right, or they're just kind of eating whatever they want to eat, and they're not doing the exercise, and sometimes they wonder why they're not feeling good. But um, 
once we start to, and I do this every day in practice, we start to tell people how to focus, how to concentrate, how to change the food plan around, use other foods to substitute for things that are either high carb, too much fat, too much salt, et cetera, you start to see people you're getting that result. They start to feel better, healthier, stronger. Headaches and bloating tend to go away. And then you're creating this you know, pathway that they tend to follow because it works and it makes all that sense. I really couldn't agree more. And, and I, I would like to take the onus off of, of people in general because I think we're taught in the media that uh, foods are... Uh, I mean, the artificial additives and, and what we're dealing with as a society to understand how to eat well is difficult in the first place, never mind making the habit of of actually being able to. Um, and for me, I was a pretty traditional uh, bodybuilder mentality uh, as a natural athlete. Uh, I used protocols that I know we talked the other night about what a day looked like in terms of food for me. Um, I worked on five meals a day is is how my trainer and I did it. Uh, so 130 grams of lean proteins, which are, you know, chicken, fish, beef. Um, and I also used 130 grams of carbohydrates that were clean carbohydrates, usually sweet potato or oats um, on each meal. And uh, pretty much as much veg, you know, calorie negative food that I that I wanted to consume, but mm -hmm. I really didn't use any condiments or, you know, the, there was no fruit selection uh, in those times when I was training, when I was really getting ready for a show. And closer to, uh, I would completely eliminate carbs, which, you know, nowadays in different protocols is... <laughs> <laughs> how much training were you so doing? In different. other words, at your peak, how often would you train? Um, I've spent 20 years uh, at two hours a day, so I built it into my life and not everybody can do that. So one of the biggest lessons, Dr. Chris, I have is in your 20s, you're really there to fail. Uh, this is not my quote, but in your 20s, you're there to fail. And your 30s, you're learning, your 40s, you're mastering it. And by 50, you're teaching it. Um, that is is so true because my fundamental beliefs about exercise and wellness on whole have changed. The protocols have changed. Things become antiquated quickly as new technologies are learned. And I couldn't be more excited to sit with you, uh, you know, in a regenerative uh, clinic the way you do. That's so exciting. Sure. You're the work that you do. And we had a great conversation um, the other night about, uh, you know, looking at testing your vitamins, your minerals, your hormone levels, of course, Hormones, we talk about thyroid, DHEA, testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, IGF-1, a very important repair mechanism. We talk about peptides and using uh, NAD and just things to get your body to function like it did when all these things were in good range when we were younger. So it's a, it's a terrific benefit to the body. Thanks, Dr. Chris. I mean, lined up with food and positive nutrition and moving your body and, you know, to answer your question, there was a really long uh, way around to the question, but I, I, I did an hour of strength training every day on a five-day rotation. So Monday would be leg day, Tuesday would be chest and back. Uh, you know, five-day rotation, food generally stayed the same until I was getting ready to get on stage, at right. which point it was an extreme science-based diet that I wouldn't recommend for anyone unless they were uh, performing athletically. Um, I, but, you know, in terms of all or nothing, I think that that's a real challenge for people. They they assume mm -hmm. that they have to have a lifestyle that includes two hours in the gym and, and, you know, five meals a day of perfect nutrition. But I like to remind people that uh, everything can start with your next meal. So if you fall down, you can get back up. And that, that's right. the key to success is, is of course, consistency. Yeah, consistent is possible. We tell people that, you know, if you have uh, three to four meals a day, so it's, you know, 90 to 120 meals over the course of a month, a few of them that are not perfect, it's not going to make a difference. So we like to get consistency on board. I also like to see that people recognize the change in their symptoms um, as they either do the low carb diet or they start to do the exercise and we start to correct these things. So it becomes more rewarding for those individuals. Once they start to see, wow, my bloating's gone, my headaches are gone, uh, I have a little bit more energy, I could walk further. Uh, in many ways, when people are sort of off of the, the correct path, there's so many weird symptoms they're having, so they can't really, you know, if they try to do things on their own, they can't really figure out, you know, why it's not working. But overwhelmingly, when we talk about cutting carbs back, 
People say bloating goes away. A lot of people react to grains, and grains are all GMO now, so that creates a problem. And cutting back that excess sugar intake decreases your body's release of insulin. So if you eat a lot of carb and your blood sugar goes up, you release a lot of insulin, your blood sugar drops, you're craving, so you keep wanting to have the, the carbohydrate, which you know creates that hyperglycemia, hypoglycemia mechanism, and people feel bad about that. The, the other thing, too, is that the sugar and uh, excess sugar causes glycation, which is damage to your blood vessels, your nerves, your cells. And this is a whole, you know, involved, interesting, comprehensive topic of how sugar damages your body. Now, this is something that we haven't spoken about in traditional medicine much. I talk about this all the time because I've seen this all the time. In 36 years of doing this, you know, we try to get people to understand and read articles and, you know, learn about this. So these are the things that we talk about. But yeah, it takes a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of effort. But then week to week, if you're adding on another five minutes or 10 minutes of that activity, your body will do better, will acclimate. You're flushing, you're flooding your cells with oxygen, vitamins, minerals, hormones, and you're creating, you know, great, great health. I absolutely couldn't agree more. I love your advice, Dr. Chris. I think one of the primary things to share with people is that you don't have to do it all at once. And just, you know, a few minutes a day, breaking into a sweat every day is really all you need to do. So whatever it takes to do that, uh, and and starting with just removing white bread, you know, never touch it in, in today's society. <laughs> you know, we just, we can't. And then aligning therapies like you offer, together because once inflammation takes hold it's really difficult to fight back from but if you you know uh, if you are proactive in its in its use i agree with you i couldn't agree more it just takes a little bit of work it takes a little bit of planning it takes a little bit of you know learning about your body watching and looking for benefits and then all of a sudden when that light bulb goes off people start to say wow you know what this is true this is right this is working for me and invariably people that I talk to have either heard from someone else about doing this diet or people are referred to me, family members refer people, you know, all day long. So my cousin did this, or you helped my aunt with that. And, you know, it just, it, it resonates better when they know somebody who's gone through it that's had the result. But it's a, it's a pretty straightforward thing once you cover all the bases. But that's the, the key medical part that I like to make sure we do is cover all the bases. And education is a critical part of understanding how to be healthy. So as we learn, as we explain, as someone comes along and says, you know, I do this activity, this exercise that makes me feel really good, or I go to get a massage, you know, every week, you know, it helps my muscles and, and my back, you know, adding all these other good things on just enhances the benefit. So you're the CEO of a retreat property, which sounds amazing. Um, how did you start with that? Well, I'm deeply honored to share that it was my father's property. They ran it as a retreat for 30 years, and it's wow. a 100-acre farm. Farm, Absolutely stunning. Oh, wow. We use it as a retreat wedding venue. Um, yeah, you can see us on Instagram. It's still life retreat in Lake. Uh, we've got a, an aquifer spring-fed lake in the back. It's absolutely oh, wow. beautiful. I have to get myself Thanks. there. <laughs> yeah, please. I'd love to have you. Either, you know, I can facilitate or leave you on your own. So, Sure. That sounds wonderful. So you're guiding people through health and wellness in a beautiful property. You know, my friends and I have always commented on this, and we always are looking to try to find a place that's got a river and, or a lake or something and set up a farm and have some animals and eat all sorts of wonderful foods and, you know, be able to go somewhere, relax, and totally de-stress from the craziness of the everyday world. It sounds like you have that on 100 acres. That's gorgeous. Dr. Chris, I never in a million years expected my life to be here. And uh, <laughs> I, it is such an honor. So I'm full city uh, on a hundred acre farm. And uh, and it's most people's dream when I, you know, when I walk in the city and talk about my current circumstance, I see the joy in people's faces, the excitement about growing food. So sure. we are looking uh yeah, this this year we're creating sustainable community gardens and uh wow. we're we're gonna dive in. Yeah, that's wonderful. That that's a wonderful goal. It's sort of a dream, especially for people who don't have the ability to do that where they live. And some people live in apartments, and some people live in very crowded areas. Just the idea of being able to get out and enjoy a big expanse, wide open, you know, nature with um, the beautiful smells. I, you know, I, I have friends in Caledonia 
my wonderful Native American friends. And the first time I went up there and uh, was brought to their property, uh, this massive reservation, I got out of the car. I was like, wow, the smell. It smells so good here. And they're like, well, yeah, you know, this is just, you know, nature. I said, yeah, but, uh, you know, where's the pine tree? I said, the pine tree was like 60 yards away, and I was smelling the pine tree that was that far away. Down here, you could be sitting in the pine tree and not smell the, the pine scent, you know? So it's just fresh air, wide open, beautiful nature. And it just resets your mind, you know? It just brings you to a whole different place. Oh, yeah, I couldn't agree. I'm new at learning, you know, I'm really new and enjoying every second of the grounding of nature. It, it really, uh, it's, it's some of the best mindset uh, tools we have. Uh, how do people reach you for that facility? And once again, uh, it's called Still Life Retreat. Yeah, Still Life Retreat and Lake on Instagram. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. That's a wonderful thing. Uh, so, yeah, give us an idea as to you have some projects occurring going forward. Well, I, I want to make it clear also, uh, when you said CEO, I, I call myself the chief experience officer there. So uh, that's my position at Still Life. Um, but moving forward, we have a book coming. Uh, I'm excited to share I, my secret title uh, in the this upcoming year. We've got a lot um We've got a lot, uh, a lot happening. Um, well, I can't wait to see the book and read the book and come up to see the retreat. That sounds like a, a wonderful thing. You know, and if even from talking to you for, you know, a bit over the past couple of days and things, I can see your energy, your drive to do this. I mean, that's obvious. Just as a drive was there for you to become a professional or a world-class athlete, you have the drive to create and create things that other people can take wonderful advantage of and learn from you. So I, I know you have a wealth of knowledge and I think that's wonderful for people to, to have access to. Thanks so much, Chris. I, uh, I really appreciate it. This year has been marked by uh, a tremendous tragedy in our family. And so when I say I've been riding the dividends of um, a healthy lifestyle of 30 years, I, I feel really blessed for that. And I'd love to share, you know, more of that story sure. on another show. As we spoke about, we'll yeah. do lots of shows. We'll have you as a regular contributor. I know there's a lot that we can learn from you, but that's terrific. I'm so glad that we reconnected and we were able to chat and get this program up and running. I'm thrilled. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Dr. Chris. Thank you. You're welcome. Wonderful talking with you. I look forward to talking with you again. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, friends, for watching the program. Stay tuned. Tell your family and friends about the program here and uh, let everybody know about it. Of course, uh, for people that want some info, they can call the office at 516-794-0404. DrCalipay.com is the website. We have lots of great videos there of patients who've done stem cell therapy for traumatic brain injury, for wounds, for stroke, MS, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, diabetes, all sorts of disorders. So uh, this program is gonna be a very, very informational program as has been my radio program over the past 35 years. So um, we'd love for you to listen and learn and uh, contact us. You can email me through the website as well. And we have emails coming in every day. So we contact patients and we actually might bring some of those emails to the forefront here of this program. So when people email and ask questions, we can go over those questions so more people can understand how you should really approach the problem, how you test and we make recommendations. Uh, we'll also have a phone number here within the next week for this program so that while we're doing this live, you can call in and ask your question. So it'll be a lot of fun, I promise. And Frankie, my engineer, is terrific, and I thank him uh, you know, so much for ha helping to make this happen. Okay, God bless you all. Have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.